Hey guys, this is Patrick. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to drill from a mobile report to a paginated report in SQL Server 2016 reporting services. And this all started as a little challenge at the Iowa Data Summit that I did last week. And this guy was in the back of the room. He's like, hey man, you keep eluding that little drill button at the bottom when I was talking about mobile reports. And to be honest, I had never configured a drill before. And so I decided to accept this challenge. And so the challenge started with me drilling from a mobile report to a paginated report that had all its parameters populated from SQL Server. And then we started talking about semantic models. And then it was like, hey, can you do it to a semantic model? Which was a little challenging. And I actually got a little stumped, but we eventually figured it out. In this video, we're gonna talk about going to a paginated report that's populated with, that has parameters populated from SQL Server. And then in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to do it to a paginated, I'll show you how to drill to a paginated report that has parameters populated from a semantic model. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's dig into this a little bit. And so to get started, you start with a mobile report. And on this mobile report, you'll see I have a couple of different visuals. Primarily, I have a selection list, bar chart, and a couple of uh, like gauges down here. So let's go in preview mode and I'll show you what I want to do. So I have this selection list and every time I click it, it updates the report. Okay, everything is filtered by this particular selection list. And let's focus in on this little gauge right here, which is just showing the selected year. When I select that year, I want to go out to, I want to go down, I want to drill into a paginated report that has a little more detail or gives me a little more information about the selected year. And so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna configure drill. So make sure you click the visual that you wanna enable drill. And I, I did this previously, I set it up before, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. And so go ahead and select custom URL. So you select custom URL and the set drill through URL window, that's gonna open up for you. And now this is where you begin to configure all of your drill and so you can see right here in this text box it says enter a url to go to when this visual is clicked and where i want to go is i want to go to a paginated report and so paginated reports for you guys that don't know it's not a new concept in reporting services it's just a new name that they given they gave the traditional rdls that we've been deploying back since what sql server 2000 i think um, from the command prompt yeah it's been a while what you want to do is you want to grab the url for that particular report and what you would normally do is go to server name slash reports, but in this case, you wanna to go to server name slash report server. And so I'm gonna open up a browser and you'll see right here, I've already browsed to my report server and the location where I want that report. And the particular report that I'm looking for is annual enrollment report. So go ahead and right click on that report and select copy shortcut. Once you have that shortcut on your clipboard, go back to your mobile report and just paste it right into that text box. Now, just go ahead and remove rs colon command equals render. You really don't need that, but leave that ampersand there at the end. And then you need to identify the parameter that you wanna drill through. And in my case, I wanna to go to the year parameter. If you don't know how to find the name of your parameter, the quickest way is open up that report in SQL Server Data Tools, expand the, the parameters folder, and then you'll see the name of that parameter. I wanna pass the selected value on that gauge, which would be my year, down to this parameter. And so go back to your mobile report on the set drill through URL page, and right after the ampersand, type the name of the parameter and equal. And then over on the right-hand side, you'll see the available parameters. There's two kinds. There's for a list of parameters and a given just a selected item. And I just want one single item. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. It builds out that URL for me. You can get a preview of what it's gonna look like click apply. Once you click apply, go into preview, click, you know, back on the mobile report, click preview. You know, you can click through the selection list and see everything changes. I have 2005 selected and you can see 2005 on my, in my gauge here. If I click it, it automatically runs my report and you can see that 2005 is selected from my parameter list. Pretty simple, pretty easy, you know, not much not much to do there. Do you have a better way to do this? I'm curious, right? This was the easy way for me. If you have a better way, post it, you know, post it down in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions about how I did this, post that down in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you like the video, be sure to give it a like. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.